There are three ways to create a scene. With pre-programmed switches, with easy step, or with easy time. This tutorial explains the first option. A scene enables you to trigger several parameters at the same time, as if you were pressing switches all at once. Every switch controls one parameter of your lighting, for instance the gobos, the dimmer, and so on. Each category of switch has its own color. These switches are pre-programmed when you add fixtures to your show and are based on your fixtures profiles. The easiest way to create a scene is to use the pre-programmed switches. All you have to do is activate several switches until you reach the expected results and record it into a scene. Here's how to proceed. Click onto New Scene, then indicate the name of your scene and choose one of the three options available. Empty creates a blank scene. Equal to Init's, set your scene to match your Init settings. As you see now, we'll create the scene with all the preselections you have performed. It registers all the values of all the activated switches. In this frame below, you can see the list of the activated switches. For this tutorial, we will choose As you see now and click OK. Your scene is now created. A new yellow button shows up. If you click to the default scene init, you will reset your fixtures. Activate your new scene and notice that all your fixtures are now instantly showing the expected result. We will now add a keyboard shortcut. To do that, press Shift and right click at the same time. Select Link to Keyboard or Button Settings. Now select Trigger and click Link to Keyboard and press any key. Tick the flash box for temporary activation. Here we have chosen the letter Q. For information, you can perform the same action by pressing Ctrl and the letter Q when your scene is selected. Now check the result by pressing the letter Q on your keyboard and notice that the scene is activated.